In this video, I will introduce the Aptos blockchain. Every blockchain developer should pay attention to Aptos because it's very scalable, it's very secure, and it offers a great user experience. And for smart contracts, it uses Move, a programming language based on Rust and focused on security. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I teach you blockchain development. And to get started in our introduction to Aptos, let's talk of Move, the programming language for Aptos smart contracts. Move was first developed by Meta for a blockchain project called Libra, later renamed Diem. Today, most Move smart contracts are written for the Aptos blockchain. Move is based on Rust, which is one of the most loved programming languages according to Stack Overflow. Move was designed with security in mind, making it ideal for smart contracts. But what makes Move so secure? Move was designed with resource-oriented programming. Resources are basically on-chain assets. Move enforces strict rules on how resources are created, transferred, and destroyed. With Move, resources are attached to an account, but not to a specific smart contract, contrary to Ethereum. The resource model also prevents re-entrancy attacks natively. Re-entrancy are complex attacks that were the source of many hacks with Solidity smart contracts. There is a solution in Solidity, but it's up to smart contracts developer to implement the protection themselves. And if they are not careful, they will be vulnerable to re-entrancy. With Move, there is no need to worry about this because of the resource model. Re-entrancy attacks are just not possible. Another thing I like with Move is that you can write tests directly in the Move language. No need to use another language like JavaScript or Python. It makes tests much more simple and much more readable. Finally, the Move programming language has a formal verification tool, which is a huge win for security. Formal verification is a mathematical method for checking that a smart contract really does what it claims to do. You first have to describe what the smart contract does using a specification, and then you run a formal verification tool on this specification. And the entire Aptos standard library and framework are formally verified. So Move is great, but what about the other development tools for Aptos? Well, it's pretty awesome. Aptos has a very versatile command line tool to create accounts, deploy modules, or run tests. Aptos also offers an amazing TypeScript library to interact with the Aptos blockchain. It's very easy to understand, and you can use it to easily build backend or frontend applications. Aptos also has a free GraphQL indexer, meaning that it's very easy to read complex data on the blockchain. This is much more simple and flexible compared to directly reading the data from the blockchain. And everything is very well documented for developers. More on this at the end of the video. And to finish on the developer tools, the Aptos ecosystem is much more integrated than other blockchains. The same entity created the entire tool chain and it feels way easier to piece everything together. Another reason to build on Aptos is its randomness API. Many blockchain applications need some randomness. There are many use cases for randomness like decentralized games, randomized NFTs, etc. However, it's very difficult to generate randomness on a blockchain. Or to be more specific, it's difficult to generate decentralized, secure randomness. One solution is to take the current timestamp of a transaction as a source of randomness, but this can be easily manipulated by miners, which introduces a security vulnerability. Another solution is to generate a random number off-chain and send this number on-chain via oracles. This is implemented by Chainlink VRF and it's currently the best answer to randomness generation on Ethereum-based blockchains. Unfortunately, it's centralized. Can we do better than this? Can we have on-chain, decentralized, and secure randomness? Yes, on Aptos, you can use the Aptos Randomness API. Under the hood, it generates randomness on-chain in a decentralized and secure way. So when you need the randomness in your decentralized application, there is no need to either use some randomness oracle or create your own system. Next, let's talk user experience. On most blockchains, the user experience is not great. Usually, users have to use a wallet where they have to deal with private keys, but managing a private key is very stressful. What if you lose it? There is no password reset, no customer service. If you lose your private key, you're done. All your money is lost. Can we do better than that? Yes. Aptos has a unique feature called keyless accounts. 
Aptos Keyless allows users to set up an Aptos blockchain account with their existing social account. And with your Aptos account, you can access any blockchain applications on Aptos. No need to download a wallet, no need to manage a private key. With the Aptos account system, it's also possible to set up a special account controlled by multiple private keys. It's like a multi-sig but implemented natively in the Aptos protocol. That's a great improvement compared to other blockchains where multi-sig have to be implemented outside the protocol with smart contracts which reduces security and compatibility across blockchain applications. In the Ethereum ecosystem, the closest equivalent to a keyless account would be smart contract wallets, which are on-chain wallets implemented as smart contracts. But it's not implemented natively in the protocol, it's not widely implemented yet, and it's nowhere as good as Aptos Keyless. That's why Aptos offers one of the best user experiences across all blockchains. Next, let's talk about fungible tokens. Tokens are said to be fungible when any unit of a token can be exchanged for any other unit of the same token. So on the Ethereum ecosystem, fungible assets are represented with ERC20 tokens. They are implemented as smart contracts non-natively. On Aptos, the equivalent of ERC20 is the fungible asset standard. With this standard, you can easily create fungible tokens on Aptos implemented as Aptos smart contracts, also called modules. The fungible asset standard of Aptos is way more modern than ERC20 tokens and allows anyone to easily represent many assets like financial assets, commodities, or real estate. This leads to more standardized implementations, which means less work for developers, better compatibility, less bugs, and less security vulnerabilities. Next, let's talk about NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible tokens are crypto assets that are unique. When most people think of NFTs, they think of projects like Base App Yacht Club or CryptoPunks. So far, digital art has been the biggest use case for NFTs, but NFTs have many more use cases, including for unique financial instruments like insurance contracts. On Ethereum, we have ERC721 for NFTs, and on Aptos, we have the digital asset standard. And once again, Aptos was able to learn from the mistakes of Ethereum because the digital asset standard introduces some huge improvement compared to ERC721 like simplified token management, improved user experience, enhanced interoperability, and it also introduced the concept of composable NFTs. Next, we'll talk of another huge advantage of Aptos, parallelism. One of the biggest problems of blockchains is scalability. We want blockchains to be as scalable as possible, meaning that they should be able to process as many transactions as possible. However, most blockchains are very limited. For example, whereas Ethereum can process 15 transactions per second, Visa can process up to 4,000 transactions per second. The limiting factor for Ethereum is the EVM, short for Ethereum Virtual Machine. That's a critical part of Ethereum that executes smart contracts. Because the EVM processes transactions in a sequential way, it's very difficult to scale the Ethereum blockchain. Aptos has developed an execution engine called BlockSTM that can process several transactions at the same time. This greatly improves scalability and gives it a massive advantage over other blockchains like Ethereum. There was a demonstration of the throughput of Aptos in a mainnet Miro environment called PreviewNet where it achieved 2 billion transactions in 24 hours, which is equivalent to 25,000 sustained transactions per second and up to 30 transactions per second at the peak. Okay, so to recap, Aptos was able to learn from earlier blockchains and come up with a better design. It uses Move, a programming language developed by senior engineers of Meta, and that was designed for security. Aptos has the equivalent of ERC20 and ERC721 tokens, but it improved them. With Aptos, you can generate randomness in a decentralized and secure way at the protocol level. It has a great user experience thanks to innovations like keyless accounts, and it's very scalable thanks to its native parallel execution. For next steps, I recommend learning more about Aptos so that you can build decentralized applications on it. First, check out the white paper of Aptos, it's only 17 pages and there isn't any complex math formula. Then check out the technical documentation of Aptos, this is very well done and completely up to date. 
And on the same website, you will find the documentation for the Move language. Just to be clear, if you Google Move, you may find documentation about different versions of Move in the context of other blockchains, and this can be confusing. If you want to build on Aptos, stick to the official Move documentation on the Aptos website. They also have great tutorials where you start with a simple task like sending a simple transaction to creating your first Move module and building a full decentralized application on Move with the front end. All right, that's it for today. Bye.